<clears throat> okay, I'm going to just unhook this. Remember, I can connect that across there and measure the um, uh, capacitance. I can now. I got an inductor to play with, so I can measure the inductance by hooking that on there. Okay, so let me do that. <clears throat> now to measure the inductance, you just push the button until you go to the inductance mode. Okay, can you see I got the inductor hooked up to it? It's just connected directly across there. And I'm going to push this button until I get to the inductance mode. And let's measure it at the, um, <clears throat> okay, let's measure it at about three and a half megahertz or so. Let's see. <clears throat> And we're measuring about 7.7 .7 microhenries here. Uh, of course, like all real components, they're strays, and as you change frequency, um, the value of it's going to change. Let's, let's measure it at about the resonant frequency that we found. Uh, let's see, what was that, 8.2 or so? Okay. Somewhere around there. So, so it measured about 10 microhenries or so at that frequency. <clears throat> All right. Let me give you a little tip right here. Let's say you have an inductor and you want to form a tuned circuit. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> that inductor right there. Okay. We know with that capacitor we had in there, it's uh, resonant around 8.2. Let's, let's make it resonate at some other frequency. Let's say, what, 40 meters? You wanna do it on 40 meters? Okay, so let's, tune, let's set this thing down to 40 meters, somewhere around seven point, this is for all the CW operators, 7.3, okay, <clears throat> well, what value of capacitance would you put across that inductor? Well, you just find the right formula and put in the frequency and the inductance and it'll give you the capacitance, right? I mean, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you an easier way. When, when you have a tune circuit and it, you resonate it, if you have an inductor and you resonate it, what do you do? You cancel that reactance out with the opposite reactance, right? So if you got an inductor, you resonate it with the right value of capacitor, right? Well, what value of capacitor do you use? Well, you use the same reactance of that inductor, but the opposite of that, right? So. All you have to do is to um, get that capacitor is, <clears throat> do what now? Well, show you easier way. Right now we got it set to inductance, right? All you got to do is push it to capacitance. That's the capacitor you need to resonate that car. <clears throat> <clears throat> the, way, the way this 269 works is the way it measures capacitance and inductance is it, it actually measures the reactance of that coil and converts it to inductance. To measure capacitance, it measures the reactance at a capacitance convert it to capacitance, to picofarad. So it's measuring the reactance and you, you can read whichever one you want to. <clears throat> <clears throat> 